I wasn't the typical son who was saying, Dad, I've been growing up in New York and now you need to figure out and you know, launch me in a movie. In fact, he'd signed up as Mustang to launch me. But I took a very different approach. That is the problem today with Bollywood. That when you see great talent, you don't see them as actors. You 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 see them as actors. You
to have a phenomenal actor like mm. uh, like Anna to come in and you know that aura that he carries mm. over 30 years of his career yeah. uh, to come in behind that that larger than life character like the live one yeah. sometimes that aura makes all the difference and uh, i personally think he's done a phenomenal job uh, yeah. probably the best in his career mm. so it's great fun to get pitted up against mm. him because the show is structured in such a way akash that in the first moment of the show you know who the live one is mm. you know how big he is how mm. important he is but you don't know who jcp gavaskar is mm. and the design of the show is such that with every episode you start to realize layer upon layer oh my god yeah oh my god there's something here from the introduction and everything it's very normal mm. you know he's not bashing up people you're not seeing him aggressive he's very calm mm. he's a calculated guy but in his words you're realizing kuch hai he's going to do something yeah. and then his looks and then when you start seeing him do stuff by the time you hit middle of the show and i think this is a binge worthy show mm. but by the time you hit the middle of the show you're like oh my god this is going to be colossal there's going to be yeah. a massive massive uh, all out war mm. um and you realize what gavaskar is all about so it's mm. fun sometimes to yeah. graph a character yeah. right to build him up from the first scene and then the end you get mm. shocked you like acha ye hai i feel like it was badle ka samay <laughs> like lokhand wala mein he was uh, the one behind you so this time it was badle ka time but i also feel like uh, since lokhand wala so shoot out lokhand wala to now like even sunil sir has changed a lot yeah. and yeah. not just physically yeah like the aura that he exudes has completely differed and it shows but like now the show is called memory lane so i want to take you back a little in time today is the world of social media yeah but when you debuted it was the media correct that was uh, whatever they were saying it was like the gospel truth correct so at that time being suresh obroy's son making a debut in the films how kind of it played with your mind the kind of media scrutiny that was coming over you while uh, you were about to make a debut I think I had no media scrutiny. I had no expectations of me because uh, my father uh, is brilliant as an actor, mm. uh, but was never part of the whole Bollywood circles, mm. you know, uh, lobbies. Yeah. Uh, he never subscribed to that. He believed mm. in the truth of his talent. He believed in the truth of his abilities, yeah. and the commitment that he brought to every role. And he was yeah. a committed actor is a committed actor and still adds a lot of value to every role he does mm-hmm. um but he didn't have that whole uh, story where you know people were saying acha yaar tera beta bada ho gaya chal milke mm-hmm. launch karte hain you know which is the typical uh, bollywood story where you hear all these gallies on mm-hmm. nepotism <laughs> yeah i was in the typical son who was saying mm-hmm. dad ab main bada ho gaya hu new york se padh ke aa gaya and now you mm-hmm. know you need to figure out and you know launch me in a movie in fact he signed up as mustan to launch me mm-hmm. but i took a very different approach i actually remember that moment when i sat across my father in the morning and i said uh, i can't do this film if you mm. produce it and he says what do you mean he says look i idolize you and you came on your own merit i believe i have talent mm. i'd rather struggle than be given something yeah. on the platter to you know just say chalo mera beta aa gaya picture bana mm. and he respected me for that but he also warned me that it's a very difficult place because uh, the trials and tribulations the success and failure is all very personal here mm. um so i went through almost a year and a half of struggle standing uh, outside uh, production offices trying mm. to do auditions uh, not telling anybody who my father was uh, dropping my last name going everywhere is vivek anand yeah. uh, and got a lot of ragada putti because mm. uh, in india the one thing that you get a lot and absolutely free mm. is advice yeah. and most of it is rubbish right mm. um uh, don't be an actor uh, yeah. it's a very risky industry do this are mm. actor aisa thodi hota hai aisa hota mm. hai star aisa hota hai yeah. and then finally uh, i had my opportunity when i found mm. out mr ram gopal verma was casting for company and mm. then the rest is urban legend how i prepared for it and mm. how i popped up for that unusual audition mm. and uh, how i got my role uh, and even today my father feels extremely proud of me that mm. uh, despite every uh, mm. thing in this to multis journey like how you mm. mentioned uh, that i had to go uh, i'm still uh, i'd like to think i'm still a very positive person uh, mm. i'd like to think that i make my parents proud being mm. a good human being yeah. and uh, i feel i'm a committed actor mm. who says yaar role de do acha mm. phir mere pe chhod do but like uh, when you came na like the f- your debut was also very uh, unconventional. unconventional because yeah. it was not a leading man i chose to do that role. yeah and uh, at the starting of it to take that step yeah. like is not that kind of a very uh, it was a very courageous decision yeah. to take because 
आज के टाइम पे यू कैन स्टिल गेट कस्टम टू योर फैंस टू योर ऑडियंस थ्रू सोशल मीडिया यू हैव अदर काइंड ऑफ एस्पेक्ट ऑफ मीडियम टू काइंड ऑफ गेट अवेयर ऑफ देम एंड काइंड ऑफ गेट विद देम बट एट द टाइम इट वॉज जस्ट फिल्म एंड टीवी you know and you, when you when you're secure enough and you believe enough in your commitment your hard work your dedication and talent you don't need to sit either on the back mm. or in the pocket yeah of anybody you don't need yeah. to be somebody's uh little puppet mm. to make it as an actor right yeah. if if you feel that you know maybe you're weak in those areas mm. Um, then i guess it's a different play to each mm. his own you know i'm not saying that uh uh there's only one way but i believe in a meritocracy mm. i believe that that is the problem today with bollywood that mm. when you see great talent um either people in power get insecure if the mm. talent doesn't bend the knee and bend the head mm. um and and that destroys some exceptional talent yeah. uh, and and it's sad to see that i mean if mm. if they spend as much time focusing on the fans focusing on mm. uh, creating amazing content and mm. being very creative uh, it would have been much better than playing these games mm. um with with talented potential uh that i see in front of my eyes in the last two decades that i've survived i've seen yeah. so many people give up i've seen so many people crushed yeah i've seen people give up their lives and uh, young talent it's very sad but like when you gave uh, company and sathya like people were talking about that this is the next big thing this is he's the next big star of bollywood did that expectations kind of got a little too much or maybe the success got too much to handle because after that a number of films kind of didn't work as well no i don't think it's about uh, success or expectations it's about being allowed to uh, do your thing as an actor hmm. uh actors are secondary movers mm. directors and producers are primary movers yeah. so today when somebody thinks of me and says you're our first choice to play jayant gavaskar mm. i bring my soul to it mm. when a rohit shetty calls me up and says uh, after almost knowing him for two decades calls mm. me up and says i've been writing this script of indian police for so four years yeah and from the first day that i wrote this character i've thought of you mm. that makes you feel appreciated as an actor yeah. then you bring your heart and soul to every moment mm. every frame mm. uh, and you feel appreciated Uh, and that's what true talent uh, wants right they want appreciation yeah. they want love from yeah. your peers they want love from your fans and you strive for that mm. you work hard for that you give your heart and soul for that you bear your vulnerabilities for that mm. so i think uh, when like you mentioned earlier media was a very powerful tool mm. today social media is a tool but the good thing is that the power of social media is well distributed it's not in mm. the hands of just a few yeah. you know akash doesn't have to go to a very big multinational corporation mm. he can just start up on his own yeah. and have his audience and reach his audience and mm. and his audience will support him yeah. that's the power of the fans that's the power of social media mm. and that's why you see so much truth you see a lot of truth bombs out mm. there but earlier if you controlled 10 15 people you mm. could control the bollywood media yeah and Unfortunately those 5 to 10 people in Bollywood controlled those 10 to 15 people mm. in media and put out whatever they wanted and yeah. um the truth was created so mm. perception is stronger than truth yeah at that time so especially and people people played that and so I'll give you an example uh, shoot out of lokan wala we just spoke about mm. huge blockbuster of the year massive massive uh, film the role that i played became almost cult like mm. uh, people said that when you talk about gangster roles it's up there yeah. in you know portrayals mm. commercial success critical acclaim awards everything what logic says that after that an actor like that should sit at home for 18 months and not get work that's not a possibility mm. that's something that was created mm. right for whatever reasons so i'm yeah. saying that those are the things that i'm happy that we're finally at a stage where ott has brought that kind mm. of democracy yeah. where if you if you're talented you can shine mm. you don't need clout for number of screens mm. you don't need clout to say mere picture release hogi to mm. i'll make sure that others don't uh, come up there you, those pressures are gone mm. it's true democracy if people sit down and watch some new kid in a new show and appreciate pretty gandhi after scam 1992 yeah. he blew everybody's minds yeah. and there's nothing that can stop him you know from his talent to keep going mm. and uh, and that's what i love about ott yeah. 
but do you feel like uh, today there are so many platforms and those so many mediums it's kind of easy to kind of diversify and kind of show your versatility as it was in the early 2000s yes it is and and that's the reason when people in 2016 told me are you crazy bro you shouldn't be jumping onto the ott bandwagon we don't yeah. even know what an ott is mm. what the hell is you know amazon prime and netflix and who watches that in india and i did inside edge yeah i went all out and backed that project and and gave it my all to create vikram dhawan mm. and the fans gave me the love uh, we won awards i personally won awards mm. uh, for that portrayal and then eventually uh, we got nominated for an emmy mm. and that was huge because that was the first time that happened that an original mm. series made out of india got nominated for the emmys mm. um so i feel that those possibility possibilities become endless yeah. and now uh, that's why i'm so careful i'm not working for money by the grace mm. of god business does well mm. the other ventures that i did to you know support myself uh, yeah. to to I, i created a lot of social impact for profit startups that have done very very well yeah. um so i'm i'm happy in a good zone and now i can pick and choose good content because yeah. from 16 to 22 in 6 years i've only done inside edge 1 2 3 Mm. I've done Dharavi Bank and I've done Indian yeah. Police Force. Yeah. Even though probably every week 10 days I have a new proposal yeah. on the table saying here's mm. the script, here's the package and I'm like yeah. nahi yaar. Solid hai, amazing hai to karenge nahi to nahi karenge. I'm very glad that you do that yeah. because uh, sometimes it's very easy to get lost in the success that is coming and then choose any random kind of project yeah. just to be visible. So an attempt can fail or succeed. Mm. But an actor feels when your intent is not honest yeah when you're doing it for the wrong reasons true true i think this is a industry where creativity saraswati mm. first then lakshmi mm. correctly said but uh, like when you had your first two films here then the graph kind of dipped as a newcomer how difficult did it get to kind of deal it professionally and also personally because you're just starting off no success and failure is okay see um, post company sathya uh road did reasonably dum was a hit in its own right um i had masti which was also mm. a huge blockbuster i had yuva i had omkara i did a lot of good mm. work uh, i had a, a, a fair amount of success yeah. uh, thanks to the almighty i've been blessed with you know success awards uh, wins or nominations mm. but i've been up there yeah um i think that didn't bother me the systematic approach to destroy credibility mm. to take attention away from talent mm. uh that systematic approach which still exists but is mm. diluting thanks to the power of the common man thanks to the power of fans yeah. who are now recognizing it and putting their yeah. voice out and mm. supporting other kids i mean i've seen recently that mm. there are other kids who haven't submitted to being bullied and mm. the fans have rallied behind them and that's yeah. a great thing um i think that's what i love about the new birth mm. of of bollywood and those things should change i have mm. i have no bitterness or anger or upset mm. or angst against my fraternity mm. um i i have i've grown beyond that mm. that that bitter experience in life kind of helped me evolve as a human being and mm. just let it go you know move yeah. on um and that's why i'm in a happy place yeah and today you are in a great phase and in retrospect you can think and say ki matlab I did the right thing and I did everything uh, so that it has led me here. But was there ever a point where you kind of regretted being vocal about your opinions and being vocal about it? Yeah, I mean, you know what happens is when you get battered, hmm. um you suddenly become emotionally and mentally weak. Hmm. And then um you feel okay my opinions and my thought process maybe there's something wrong because you have so many people telling you you're human, right? Yeah. If everybody surrounding you the powerful media keeps saying hmm. you're wrong. you start to believe you're wrong yeah uh but as you go quiet you know mm. so you, you you say things uh, you you do actions to try and fix what mm. you've done but as i grew older i realized with maturity that mm. nahi yaar i did what i did and i did with honesty yeah. and i was right in doing what i did the world around me was not ready for that kind of honesty mm. the world around me was not ready for that kind of fearlessness mm. um so would i do the same thing yes would i do it the same way maybe, maybe. no uh i i played a little more like jayant gavaskar <laughs> yeah wait and then do 
बट आई थिंक दैट्स वॉट क्या कहते हैं जवानी का जोश ऑल्सो काइंड ऑफ कम्स इन टू दैट बिकॉज एट दैट टाइम यू थिंक यू डू फर्स्ट एंड देन यू थिंक बट विद एज यू काइंड ऑफ रियलाइज दैट इट्स बेटर टू बी लिटिल थिंक फर्स्ट फिगर आउट अ वे योर स्टेप्स माइट बी डिफरेंट बट आउटकम माइट चेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट या बट वेन प्रियंका केम इन टू लाइ योर लाइफ लाइक यू वर गोइंग थ्रू अ very uh, not a very high phase but not also a very low phase yeah. to have her support at that time what did that kind of uh, how instrumental was that in you kind of reinventing yourself i see i, I don't think there's a direct correlation between marriage and career right mm. i think people uh, try to make that happen because yeah. it's a romantic notion mm. um but there is a direct correlation between a state of mind and mm. a career mm. and if your partner your soulmate mm. the person that you plan to spend the rest of your life with mm. has that effect on you she's the calm in the storm yeah if she's able to make you see the truth feel the truth mm. stop the noise mm. and just be in that honesty mm. maskless agendaless mm. then it strengthens you as a person yeah it makes you believe in yourself again it makes mm. you turn around and say i will rise mm. and no one can stop uh, an intent a mm. true intent a true yeah. talent Uh, mm. true commitment from rising mm. and that's what i realized i realized that i need to move from helplessness and frustration yeah. to positivity and say okay yeah. what can i do mm. and um, if that means i'm getting a great role down south mm. i'll go down south and do it and yeah. i'll do it to the best of my ability and i'll compete there for the awards yeah. and god willing i ended up winning the awards yeah. right and got a lot of appreciation uh if it means i need to jump on to ott um, mm. then i'll do it so when people mm. ask me today are we miss you on films why aren't you doing films i said mm. that's not my job my job is to act I, the job of giving me those films is producers and directors yeah. if they come in and say here is a film we'd like you to do it mm. we'll do it and i definitely won't do it because are yaar ye bahut bada uh, matlab uh, ब्रांड है प्रोडक्शन हाउस बहुत बड़ा है बहुत पावरफुल लोग हैं तो ये जो भी रोल देंगे जैसी भी स्क्रिप्ट देंगे कर लेंगे आई वॉन्ट डू इट फॉर दैट रीजन आई बी ट्रू टू माई फैंस फर्स्ट आई बी ट्रू टू माई टैलेंट फर्स्ट योर रिलेशनशिप विद प्रियंका एंड बिफोर दैट यू हैड स्पोकन अबाउट ऐश्वर्या बिटवीन दैट यू हैव नेवर स्पोकन अबाउट वॉज इट बिकॉज यू कैंड ऑफ लर्न टू काइंड ऑफ कीप योर पर्सनल लाइफ पर्सनल आई रियलाइज दैट if you don't want people talking about your personal life if you're sensitive yeah. to it and most people are yeah. um then you shouldn't be putting it out there uh, yeah. as a projection and um when i first met priyanka i remember something that made me instantly you know fall in love with this thought this person um and that was when she said tell me something about you i said well everything's on online to read mm. uh I said let me begin by saying yeah I'm an actor she said one thing to me she said that's just what you do not who you are i want to know who you are and that's when i realized yeah there's so much more to me yeah there's my philanthropic side what i've done in terms of social work consistently for 20 yeah. years the commitment towards the projects that i've created by you know mm. as a as a as a medium of the divine uh, you know i've been inspired to do things and then uh god has the universe has helped me in putting mm. those things together and they've been very successful internationally acclaimed yeah. uh even though i don't tom tom them or don't use them as mm. tools before promotion <laughs> um uh, but but those are big elements of my life the mm. relationship that i have with my father my mother my sister my family mm. were a very tight knit unit yeah. they held me together when i was mm. depressive they held me together when i had very negative thoughts of mm. you know ending it all um and and they held me together and their love and their faith and their belief and their prayers uh and the love of my fans uh this little prayers that people made for me every now and then that's what kept it together for me uh, i just lost it otherwise i was just constantly so upset with the negativity around me mm. and maybe that was the agenda i don't know the agenda is sometimes to break yeah. you right mentally um but i think uh priyanka had a big role in creating a haven for me you know mm. and figuring out not yeah. what i do but who i really am yeah but as you mentioned ki uh, you wanted to end it all was it in the sense ki you wanted to quit uh, acting in mm. some way or maybe in the much more darker sense in the much more darker sense of course okay but which is why which is why i related to 
unfortunately what happened say with Sushant or what happened with what happens with other people you know, I, I, I felt that darkness I felt that pain and this place can be pretty cruel man yeah. I mean uh, they can be brutal with trying to crush you you know and mm. uh, and when when lies are spoken so many times and so loudly and by so many mm. um, they become the truth yeah. they force you to start believing that yeah. that's the truth about you mm. But in hindsight, with a lot of calmness and a mm. lot of strength and inner happiness, mm. I think uh, you realize that your truth is your truth and no one can take that away from you but you. Yeah. But when you were having those thoughts, how do you motivate yourself to kind of get up every day, still face the, all the things head on and try to emerge victorious? Because you did that. My mom is my hero there, right? She taught me, she gave me this incredible tool to, uh, to stop feeling self-pity, to stop feeling uh, self-pain and a sense of disillusionment. She took me uh, to see kids who were dealing with cancer at mm -hmm. Tata Memorial Hospital. And uh, the moment I walked in, those kids smiled, the whole room brightened mm -hmm. up. These parents who were concerned about these little helpless children, seven, eight, nine years old, fighting mm -hmm. cancer, lost their hair, eyes are bloodshot red, mm -hmm. even they were smiling. <coughs> that day I realized two things. One, I realized that my problems are nothing compared to those children, those mm. parents of those children, they're nothing. Yeah. Um, so I can deal with it. If these mm. seven, eight year olds are dealing with cancer, mm. this is something I can deal with. Yeah. The second thing I realized is that celebrity, popularity, mm. success, just being known mm. can be a gift from the divine to mm -hmm. actually wipe tears and bring a smile on people's faces. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to bring them yeah. gifts or anything. I just walked mm -hmm. in and they were happy with just my presence, yeah. my being there. That's the power that you've been blessed with. That's mm -hmm. what you can do for people. Yeah. And I committed myself to that. And every time I would take away their pain, mm -hmm. I would feel joy. And my pain just died. I started mm -hmm. feeling more complete as a person, happier as a person. Then I went on to, you know, uh, work not only with Cancer Patients Aid mm. Association with Pediatric Cancer, I mm. went on to create Project Devi, which is uh, an acronym for Development and Empowerment of Vrindavan mm. Girls Initiative, where we started saving girls from child prostitution, from forced labor, mm. from abused homes. And today, mm. over 14 years of that project, we've helped more than 12,000 girls with free yeah. food, free education, uh, free health care, mm. empowered them. Yeah. That fulfills me more than any award or any accolade, yeah. because that's more real. Mm. Okay, and like you, when you entered the industry, it was I, I think it was a transition phase, because the 90s were a little, uh, in a very different zone where uh, actors have spoken about like scripts used to come on the day of the shoot and things and today it's much more uh, organized in a way. You entered in the transition phase. Do you remember any incident that kind of encapsulates that kind of transitional experience? Of course man, I mean when I entered, uh, scripts were still being written on the set by writers mm. on a piece of paper and being handed to yeah. you that this is the dialogue for the day and this is what's been written. Mm. Um, sometimes you were stop and pause in the middle of shoot mm. because the director and the writer were having an argument in terms mm. of you know uh, what it should be. Hierarchy was a big mm. thing, uh, protocol was a big thing, yeah. there was not much professionalism. Mm. Um, I remember the funniest thing uh, when they used to say Nobeleki shift. Mm. I used to be there by about 7.30 in the morning, get ready, prepare my scenes, be prepared with my dialogue, work on my, you know, mm. uh, mirror work, be ready for my mm. scene and walk on to set at 9. Mm. And we people are sitting, drinking chai, <laughs> having their discussions, chatting, mm. hai. Yeah. first shot is being taken at 10.30 or 11. Mm. And I used to feel like, how can they do this? Yeah. So what I started doing was, I used to get ready at whatever time they said yeah. and instead of waiting in the vanity van, which I still do, mm. I used to go put a chair on the set, okay. wherever we were shooting. And uh. I used to sit down there with my script in my hand uh. and just keep continuing reading, sipping uh. my chai, sipping my coffee, whatever it is uh. and keep reading the script. Mm. People would panic around me mm. and say like, oh God, hurry up, hurry up, hurry mm. up, you know, and at least that started to push people. And then after some time, I remember maybe 2003 or four. Uh, this mm. chief AD used to just come to me and the thing had become ki ye mm. hai, ye mm. time pe aa jata. so they started coming and telling me ki, sir uh, 
सबके लिए नौ बजे की शिफ्ट है सर आपके लिए साढ़े दस बजे की शिफ्ट है वट एवर हैपन आफ्टर वर्ड इट्स अ डिफरेंट थिंग एंड दैट वी हैव अ लॉट हैज बीन स्पोकन एंड रिटर्न अबाउट ऑलरेडी बट डू यू एवर फील दैट इन द इनिशियल फेज ऑफ योर करियर गोइंग पब्लिक विद योर रिलेशनशिप विद ऐश्वर्या काइंड ऑफ यू वुडेंट हैव डन इट टूडे बिकॉज इट काइंड ऑफ टुक अवे फ्रॉम योर प्रो वॉट यू आर डूइंग करियर वाइज बिकॉज मोस्ट स्कूटनी वेंट ऑन योर पर्सनल लाइफ सी नॉट दैट आई वो आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन और एनी थिंग एज सच बिकॉज इट्स इट्स डन एंड डस्टेड but for any youth any young talented people who are mm. watching today is that just remember one thing in life that if you're really focused and committed on your work mm. and you're giving it 100% and it happens everywhere it happens in corporate houses it happens in media it happens in films it happens mm. everywhere i see it all the time my only advice is that see if they can't attack you on your professionalism if they can't attack you on your talent if they can't attack you on the work you do mm. don't give them an opportunity to attack you on something else and shift the mm. focus mm. Uh, don't do that that would be a disservice to yourself yeah. and to your commitment in your career yeah and now we'll end this interview with a fun round uh, it's called blast from the past it's uh, i'll ask you some simple questions uh, about uh, the films you have done and the kind of era that you have lived uh, come from uh, in the movies So the first is one fashion trend from the early 2000s that you would love to get back today. Uh flared boot cut jeans. One fashion trend you wouldn't want to come back. Candy colored baggy pants. <laughs> <laughs> I think that at that time bahut hoti bhi thi yeah. Uh weirdest work culture of the early 2000s. Exactly what I just said a couple uh, of minutes ago. <laughs> okay. One film of yours that uh, from the early 2000s that you think would work in today's time as well. Sathya I think yeah is I I watched it a few years ago for the first time and yeah. I loved it. Yeah. And I think it it has that kind of a charm. It's an honest film. Yeah. One film of yours from the early 2000s that you think hasn't aged well. There are films that I've done that weren't good even then. So <laughs> I don't know about aging well now. You can take the name of those also that that weren't good even then yeah. too. <laughs> those there are quite a few <laughs> yeah okay an actor and actress that defined superstardom of the early 2000s for you hrithik mm. uh when he came it was yeah. just a furor it was madness all around people just went ballistic and mm. i think uh in my contemporaries uh, karina uh, uh the whole world was yeah boom. mesmerized yeah. yeah your favorite co-star of the early 2000s ajay My first co-star and mm. ended up doing five films with him, and each one of the yeah. five films was a big success. A song from the early 2000s that encapsulates the working culture at that time. Have you heard of a song in uh, Company? Uh, I think it encapsulates Bollywood for at least a few decades. Ganda hai par danda hai. Ah, <laughs> I think that's the best, the most iconic film of the early 2000s according to you. Lagan. True. it had got international acclaim as yeah. well yeah and lastly the weirdest rumor that you had heard about yourself oh, in the early 2000s too many yeah. but a funny one uh, was when i was in uh, sri lanka supporting mm. our team uh, in the world cup mm. and i'd gone there with priyanka we just newly married uh, 2010 and we were there to see the world cup match together um an article popped up uh from some very friendly media people mm. <laughs> um that said that Vivek Obroy spotted uh with some girl in Sri Lanka <laughs> does his you know newly married wife know that he's having an affair and like yeah theek se to dekh lo bhi saath mein photo bhi usi ki laga rahe ho you know so yeah but i really like that uh, Priyanka and your kids have stayed away from that kind of media scrutiny yeah. and I, because that kind of gives them also a chance to grow and flourish on their yeah. own and not get bogged down by nothing should take away the childhood of children yeah. and uh, it's very unfortunate that uh, there are troll armies that mm. go after They them do that yeah. yeah but i'm very glad that it does, hasn't happened and i hope it never happens with Thank you, you or any of the film families Thank you Akash Vivek you have been a person I have loved since I saw Sathya. Thank you. I have always loved you since then and today talking to you as a person I got to know that you are a gem. Thank and uh, this was my first 
conversation with you. Thank you for making it so special. Thank you for being the person that you are. Thank you. Wishing you nothing else but lots and lots of love and luck for everything you do. So Be sweet. the same thank and you. thank you so much. Thank you. Wish you the same, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers. Hey, this is Vivekanand Oberoi and you're watching me on Bollywood Bubble. You know what to do. Like, share, subscribe.